Good afternoon and uh, welcome to Glencoe. Absolutely incredible. We've got Paul in over here and we have epic conditions, epic conditions. Look at this light right here. I was thinking about heading up and getting the grand perspective, but then I could save that for another day. I now live in Fort William and I'm going to be there for the next year and a half. Um, so I've got all the time in the world to come out and get these big vistas from tops of mountains and, you know, just absolute epicness. But what I am going to be capturing today is not just epicness, but I've decided I'm going to call this vlog the Land of Giants because when we were driving in, everything just looked so big and huge. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to play with using Pauline over here as um, a guide to perspective and the difference in height and stuff. And yeah, we're going to have a little bit of a mess around. So fingers crossed, one, we get some good shots. Um, it's going to be a nice beginner to what is going to be the next year and a half. So stay tuned, people. Share, get more people involved, spread the love. It's beautiful. So the conditions right now are absolutely perfect. I'm not going to bother filming on this. I'm just going to capture it. And the first thing I'm going to capture is the light itself. So I'm underexposing quite substantially. And that's because I don't want to lose any of this information. And then as I go through these sequence of shots, one, they're going to pop up on the screen. And two, I'm going to raise that exposure slightly every time. So then as I get this into Photoshop, put all them layers in, make sure they're all lined up and then blend, blend, blend. So this is the third shot now and that you're really starting to see that light. It looks absolutely incredible. Okay, and this is the point where you can start to see the immediate foreground. And what I've been doing is I've been getting Pauline to film for me. But what I'm going to do now is I'm going to send Pauline off into that foreground. So now I can photograph Pauline and then again build her into that scene. So Pauline, if you come and have a look at this. Okay, so I've got Pauline now just down here. You might be able to see her a little bit better there. And now by having Pauline there, it's given a nice balance. So I want to be able to see a little bit of Pauline's face, not too much. Remember, it is still about the landscape photography, okay? But now, by adding Pauline into that scene just over there, it's just, hopefully, given its scale. So we're gonna see how sharp she is. See if we like her pose. Okay, so I'm pretty happy with how that one turned out. We're gonna have a little walk around now and see if we can get any other shots to pull together. But this place, magnificent. Right wonky that camera, doesn't it? <laughs> okay, so we're just setting up the scene, but what I've got is I've got this section of river coming around this way around, but it gives me a bit of a blank space in the middle. And that is where Pauline comes in. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put Pauline in that blank space, action shot about to skim a stone across the river. And then hopefully that will then entail, give scale and make the mountain look loads more majestic. Unfortunately, we've got a big chunk of cloud that's coming and it has taken the light away from the side of the hill. 
So it's just going to take a little bit of patience, a little bit of time to try and get that light to come back and to complete that shot. We're going to go through the same process again, different exposures through different lights, creating hopefully a beautiful finest, fi uh, final shot. It's looking good. What I'm going to do now though is I'm going to take the camera off Pauline and Pauline is going to go and get into position. Position is down on this stony shore just over here. Action shot, skimming a stone into that water. Fingers crossed, beauty. So Pauline is now down in position on the beach. It is raining a little bit, so I apologize if any water splat land on the screen. Uh, I'm armed with a blower and a little bit of a, uh, a cloth to be able to wipe my lens. The first thing I'm gonna capture is that sky because it is beautiful right now, okay? I'm gonna shoot from the side of my camera like this. The reason why is so one, I can check the exposure nice and quickly, and two, I can have a little wipe of my lens, okay? So I'm gonna capture the first shot right like that. Okay, so you look at that brooding sky, it's incredible. Now I'm gonna raise the exposure a little bit and I'm gonna to start to get the light on the side. Now, there isn't a lot of light coming through, which is a massive shame. So what I'm probably gonna to have to do is to do some dodging and burning to increase that light to make it look like more light was coming through. Um, but still pretty epic. So press that button, two seconds, fire it off. And now this is where it's important that Pauline gets into position. So I'm gonna raise that exposure. Pauline, if you wanna get ready, so on that angle, so turn your body like this. And because I'm layering them shots, what I can do is I can just wait, see what happens with that sky. And if it starts to look better and I start to get some God rays, I can still add them in later. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna sit, relax, and see what happens with that sky. The rays never came. We did wait a little bit too long because the sun's now dropped right down the back. It didn't light up the side, but what I have got I'm going to be able to create something pretty good. And I'm excited. I'm not only excited about the shots captured today, but I'm excited about the next year and a half in Scotland, in Glencore, Fort William, uh, Glenfinnan, and the Isle of Skye, Uig, heading over to Harris, Lewis. It's going to be good. It's going to be really good, um, not only for adventure, but for photography as well. And I dare say I'll learn some lessons, especially about keeping my camera dry. Um, but for me this week, I'm going to finish the vlog here. Um, but there's much more to come, much more to come, much more epic epicness. And I hope I didn't just capture the shot that everyone captures when they came here today. And that is another thing that I'm going to be trying to do while I'm here in Scotland, especially in this area, such a photographed area, is I don't want to capture what everyone else has captured many, many times. I'm hoping to do things slightly differently, find unusual locations, things that people can then come and photograph the hell out of. Um, but yeah, I've got time to explore, find them locations, find them conditions, and hopefully get them shots. But like I said, that is gonna be all from me this week. All from Pauline. Thank you for being my model. It was very much appreciated. And uh, hopefully she really helped create scale and made them mountains giants because they are massive. <laughs> and I'm very looking forward to climbing them all. Anyway, that's all from me. That's all from Pauline. Bye. And uh, peace out. Bye.
lucky that camera, doesn't it? <laughs>